Lord, once they arrested John the Baptist and quieted his voice, his voice that clamored the conversion of heart to open a space to you and your arrival, your word, your kingdom. When they quieted the voice of the prophet, the voice of the Lord surfaced. And you began to preach and walk about all of Galilee to call all for, to repentance and to believe in the gospel. And meanwhile, you walked, Lord, evangelizing, preaching the truth of the kingdom. You saw some men in the daily routine of their lives, in the attachments of their lives. And you were before them and you called them. And that call of love that profoundly penetrated their hearts was also immediately responded to with love. Because when you call, Lord, when you ask us to follow you, the only one worthy of the human heart, you have to respond immediately with the same love. Before the call to love will require renunciations, beginning with the renunciation of self, our selfishness, our ways, our logic, our attachments. We need to leave everything behind, leave the nets, with whatever name it has, so to follow behind you. That as we receive you in this Eucharist, Lord, sacramentally or spiritually, let us make a profound examination of conscience. If we have immediately responded every time you call us, every time you ask us to elevate to holiness proper of being your disciples, or if we continue attached to our ways, justifying them at every moment, if we continue attached to the nets, or if we have truly left them at the boat and we have followed you.